just charging your mind the first I, I put it as the tragedy of complacency and arrival mentality the second is a condition that must be needed and met in a life if you will ever attract the hand of God that will take you to a higher dimension is called hunger and thirst it's not enough to be ready to move to another level hunger and thirst are accurate measures of your spiritual health the same way when a patient is sick one of the symptoms in most cases is that you lose appetite when you lose appetite spiritually something is wrong matthew chapter 5 and verse 6 says blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness it says that they will be filled hunger and thirst john chapter 7 and verse 37 let's read it very quickly boy our time is gone john 7 and verse 37 look up please in the last day the great day of the feast jesus stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink if you do not thirst you can stay with what i've given with all the days but in this new day i have been visiting you but on this last day if you are still thirsty come listen listen and understand what he's saying remember that it was not the first day the last day they had benefited from all the other days but in the last day he said if any man thirst let him come you have enjoyed the move of god before you have seen the hand of god before you have seen the grace of god before you have seen the sick healed before and god is saying in 2019 if there is any man that still thirst come if there is any church that is still thirsty come koinonia if you still believe there is more and you desire come that means if you are not thirsty you can go it's all right if any man thirst let him come hunger and thirst powerful without hunger and thirst there is no appetite and there is no desire for more of god teaching you hear me tell you tonight if you don't hunger after it will not make sense you want to listen to something else this is a teaching for people who know that there can be more this is a teaching for many people who know that lord I've seen you or oh, i've seen you do a lot of things but i know that there is more in you there is more in you this was the mistake of lucifer lucifer saw a dimension of god he was the custodian the librarian of heaven and by the strength of everything he saw he believed he had exhausted all there was in god and then he wanted to rise to run a parallel government with god and there was judgment in heaven and he was brought to his knees that was why when god was recreating man it surprised him because he didn't know that those possibilities were there they were not captured in the truths that were given to him reproduction multiplication through reproduction had never happened it was creation now that a man one man can meet with his wife and have a child that will own ah said something is wrong and so the angels came to meet with the daughters of men to use that strategy to create something else hunger and thirst one of my prayers a man of god every time i said lord please you know i've shared it with you here lord do not show me the extent of my impact it's my prayer and i'm saying it even as i'm preaching here just give me a token let me just see a bit of what you are using me to do and i'm grateful and i'm satisfied let me tell you if you think fame cannot influence you think again was it not the same alexander the way that went to a tailor went to a fashion designer to sew just mantle with the cap 
that kind of prophet chef cup he sold everything and tied his ghetto behold elijah he read the bible and said this man is me now what is this what have, what has he done that i'm not doing they first started saying you are elijah they no no all glory be to the lord but the time came they said you are elijah it's true there are things you will not believe now keep rising tomorrow they will say it and you will believe it how do you think people become jesus i don't mean image of jesus likeness of jesus some gentlemen came here one time from Kano. remember those that those jesus guys and the apostles now i say i don't know if you are here but they came some gentlemen immediately after service and one of them came for altar call as soon as they were done i just saw the gentleman he said he's was it judas one was judas one was jesus and this young man came from Kano. as soon as i saw them i gave them a big hug i said look uh, my, my jesus friend let me tell you something you are in the image listen please i'm teaching you are in the image of christ yes are we together you have attained oneness with christ based on the doctrine of the gospel yes you are in christ one with christ yes are we together now the holy spirit represents the presence of jesus in your life yes but that you are jesus in terms of replacement you are not like that do you think that guy got born again like that not seen people pray under a tree for many weeks and by the fifth week they left that tree mad with strange revelations from beings that were not of earth pride is a dangerous thing fame has a side effect when you begin to clap for you sometimes it becomes embarrassing to step back and let jesus be seen because spotlight is sweet oh oh mine mediocre spotlight can can bless your children's children so when the spotlight is on you you plan to be there forever so that when you shift your child too will be there when you shift your grandchild too will be there but there are times when jesus says that you decrease that you will increase and many times it is embarrassing you know i go for meetings and when i see the mighty things that god is doing or sometimes when i'm teaching and the teaching grace is really on me i see the shock and the wonder on the people and i say oh dear don't be deceived you're only watching a puppet there is one behind me may i never be ashamed to let the world know that i am nothing without him this is not just some humility creed there are many proud people who say this thing i'm saying it's very true you must get to a point in your life where you are not ashamed to stand back and tell the people it is jesus jesus ever jesus only he says and i if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw all men to myself let's get back to what we're discussing hunger and thirst there are times as a man of god come it will be embarrassing at your spiritual level to now join the flock to kneel down and cry for his a greater dimension you kneeling down for the flock can kneel down i'm kneeling down this guy is standing <laughs> are we together watch this a time a time can come huh when everybody is crying for more people are rolling on the ground and say lord search my heart and as a man of god it's not any personality difference you would let them to the throne room and you are just standing there there's no need because you have become the throne room yourself you see deception is subtle so you will tell them to fast and you too you will not fast what is the need i mean whether i fast or not you see that if you want to be captured in every move of god same hunger that made you climb a tree like a monkey and held on to one branch and cried there and said god i will not come down from this tree except you bless me and god said come down i will show you what you want to see if that same hunger is not there now you can stay in a five-star hotel listen now you have all kinds of entourage do you know sometimes i look at my life today and I thank God for what God has done.
many times there are times that i wish that i had my life back in the days when nobody knew me fame can be destructive even to your spiritual life i can't go out freely i can't eat freely i can't be myself you see that i can't stroll out to just enjoy what god is doing if someone there catches me there instead of coming to join the light now that i've seen him let me just quickly it's a very embarrassing like it looks like fame but it's dangerous time today is a luxury you must intentionally sometimes close the door to some of this comfort and retreat back listen to me and say lord this is still your boy of before again oh they now call me apostle joshua selman but this is still your boy again and god says are you still as hungry as before he say hungrier than before oh god after the miracles yes sir after the fame yes sir hmm. and then he says now i will take you and show you higher things hunger can be discerned and let me tell you this if you're a man of god please listen your congregation will be a reflection of your hunger the moment you become complacent that impartation will come on them they will strangely find out that the grace is no longer there everybody say hunger almost 80 to 85 percent of the time if you meet me if i'm not studying i'm listening to a message or something there are times i just return from administration right there just entering my hotel room you would think i should lie down and cross my leg i started playing a message before i quickly went to go and preach now that i'm back thank god for the mighty things sincerely god is my witness there are few times that i think about a meeting and what happened once I leave that place, it's all right. If you ever ask me, how is the meeting? The only thing you will hear is fine. Doesn't matter what happened. The answer is fine. That's it. One of the mighty things that happened here, fine. A few times, some of you send me pictures and clips of what happened. And I look at it. Whoa, you mean this what happened? Lord, I give you praise. Let's continue. Do you know why? Because you see, you prepared for today, yesterday. You don't prepare for tomorrow, tomorrow. You prepare for tomorrow, today. They are celebrating what you did yesterday. If you are not doing anything today, there will be nothing to celebrate tomorrow. Listen to me. You have to learn this. Those who win Olympic, as soon as they are done, they rest for a while, go on a vacation one month, and they are already preparing for the next Olympic. Champions don't rest. Champions move not in a competitive manner there is more in god listen to me you are not going to clap for me now because someone fell under the anointing you may do that for your president in your small fellowship you are not going to say glory be to god koinonia was powerful because someone was shaking no there are testimonies today that if you hear in another church you will stand up and clap i watch here Somebody would give a very big testimony and coin up. Now people just clap one hand and say, Is this it? Go and sit down. We want something more. And you are right. You are right. You are right. Because your capacity is being expanded. That means yesterday's food will not feed you. Give an adult a baby's food. And you say, This is for what? The baby is grateful for having it. But the adult is still hungry don't you know that the more you grow the more the nourishment must be strong in size and quality the burden of being at the cutting edge of god's move will require you to be listen listen that hunger must remain in you that hunger must remain in you you see all the wonderful things that just happened when the, the meeting just started I go back to God let me tell you something with me and God there are few times and I want to be very sincere with you God is in this place there are few times where God comments on any meeting that I've gone to 
No. This is the realm of champions. You don't talk like mediocres. I don't come back to God and God says, Ah, son, you did a great job in that crusade. What for? No. Let's continue the training. Like a coach looks at an athlete. You are the best in the field. And after they snap you and do everything, the coach is watching you. Not in anger, he's impressed. And once you come, he says, Go and change your clothes. Wait for me in the field. It's proof of his love. You have conquered that standard. And he takes you higher. This is what happened to David. David was so, David exhausted the realm of his generation and rose up into another realm and began to see the coronation of the Messiah. The Lord said to my Lord, sit down at my right hand. No other prophet saw that. It was David that understood the excellency of the spirit. The spirit was never given without measure to people. Please listen. And now David had got it. He said, cast me not away from your presence. Take not. Other prophets were comfortable with the Holy Spirit going and coming. David said, but I've seen that a move of God will come. When this grace, the spirit will come and stay. Lord, can I not enter that move? Hunger. Hunger took David to the secret place as a king. The palace did not mean anything to him. He said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. I'd rather be an usher. Let me be an usher. The next move than to be a lord in the former move. Hunger and thirst for you. Try and weary land. I hunger and thirst for you. Try and be the land for all I want is you. In spite of the miracles. In spite of the revelations, I hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land. Yeah. Sing it from your heart. All I want is you. Lord, thank you for the revelations. Thank you for the miracles, for the word of knowledge, the prophetic. But Lord, I thank you for yesterday's wine. But I need the wine of today and tomorrow. I hunger thirst. Listen, you must trust God for your secret place to have such a high standard that no matter what you are doing currently, when you get back to the secret place, you will see that it's a step out of the... If your bar is too small, pride will kill you. If your bar is too small, one successful program will kill you. That's why you see all these young guys listen listen sometimes i talk to them and i encourage them don't let successful programs enter you don't let successful concerts enter you are you seeing that there are people whose spiritual lives went down there are people who could not pursue and seek after god again the next move of god success can depreciate your pace because when you are motivated by a need to hit a standard, listen, it will give you an impetus. But where there is no, where there is nothing to prove again, there is no hunger. When you go for a meeting today, whether you say God bless you and leave, 
nobody will ever say oh he doesn't have revelation oh come on the track record is there nobody will ever say oh he cannot heal that's why i just did altar call and sat down when you are starting out in ministry the pressure to make your calling and election choice upon you so even in five minutes you want to do everything at once you want to prophesy you want to give word of knowledge you want to heal you want to share the latest revelation but as god begins to crown your 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 your, your life with undeniable graces and honor you get to a point where the pressure to rise is not there and it shows that you have plateaued it shows that you have arrived but when your hunger remains ah. when i was preparing this message i was praying for my own self i said lord my hunger should be larger than every anybody's own in this ministry otherwise how can i lead hunger i've prayed for but show me something else about prayer i've seen your power before but show me the one I've not seen. I've seen your anointing, but show me something else. I have seen the spirit of revelation, but show me something else. I have seen angels, but show me another dimension. At the apex of his apostolic ministry, look at a man's hunger that I may know him. That I may know him. Paul, I hope you know the doctrine of scripture starts from the writings of paul the acts of the apostles down to revelation the gospels do not contain doctrines no the doctrines of scripture are embedded there some of them were just shadows as presented paul single-handedly wrote to third do you know what it means for a man to create the study curriculum of the church it was not just jesus that wrote it Paul sat down and wrote to thirds. The, the limit of our spiritual growth is scripture. That is the boundary given to us for growth. And a man sat down by the spirit and wrote it. Yet when that man finished writing it, he said that I may know him. That I may know him. Oh God that I may know you. That I may know you. I have seen your power but that I may know you. A man of God said he went for a pastor's conference one time and Pastor E.A. Adeboye was there. And when it was time for all the men of God to pray, he said he wanted to lie down close to him to hear what kind of prayer a man at this realm will pray. And he said when he lay down all through for more than one hour, all that he was saying is mercy, mercy Lord, mercy, mercy Lord mercy the young minister there is in power power lord result open doors oh god offering send help us that 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 small kiosk like building must be completed whereas there is a man here with kilometers as an estate and his language and his desire mercy he has learned that one of the most important things is the mercy of god Are you getting what I'm telling you now? Hunger. Hunger. If you're a pastor here, please minimize just praying for power and cry for hunger. Go back and buy the same new notebooks you bought that the spirit of revelation came to honor it. You have stopped buying it. Go and buy them again. Go and find a place where you used to sit alone with God. I'm too busy. I have counseling to do. I have mentees and sons in ministry. And you would die there and they will go to the next move because they are followers. Mata, hmm. Mata, you are worried and obsessed about many things. But one thing is needful to sit at the master's feet. Please listen to me. The things you did that brought you to this realm go back and start creating the atmospheres for them again hear what i'm telling you this is not the issue of i'm a big man now no 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 i 
have my notebooks you see my notebooks i can i can gather all of them for you from the time i started working with god when i go for retreats i go with all of them all of them lord what did you say my god look at what you said i bought new ones for tomorrow i buy it like this and i show the lord i say lord see it your student is here again packs of viral i'm ready because if you are not ready to hear and listen and write he's not ready to speak the level that koinonia is right now is already exhausted there i'm already preparing and aligning for the next seasons not today the preparation of yesterday brought us to where we are today thank god for what god is doing around the world through this ministry but my brothers and my sisters is child's play and if we remain complacent clapping we will become like the old wine we must be at the cutting edge of god's move through hunger genuine hunger oh that will have men and women of god again who will organize program for others but for yourself you organize a program with the same energy for others for yourself hunger next point my time is up my god You want to come up higher in the spirit you will need an encounter with the spirit of prayer and supplication